Hello and welcome everybody. With the new DLC out for a week now, I had some time to play around with the new archetype, the Ritualist. Here are my three favorite takes on this class, with strong builds that each use a different subclass and lean into different aspects, while all being reliable options and damage over time focused setups. I will keep each overview informative and to the point. If you are missing specific items, check the wiki. All DLC items have been added there already, link is in the video description. Before diving into the three builds, here are some important things to know. To further buff status effect damage, you are limited to three archetypes as secondary class, Alchemist, Medic and Challenger. Those provide all damage buffs, which does affect the damage of your debuffs. The Medic and Alchemist provide the most reliable options, while the Challenger's full buff is stronger, but tapers off the further a target is away. Perfect for shotgun setup, as you will see in one of the builds. That said, other combinations are perfectly viable too, like the Archon to constantly use your weapon mods and make them hit harder, or the Engineer for the fire turret. Just keep in mind that all other classes do not increase your pure status effect damage. Another aspect of debuff builds is the ability to keep relatively high damage ticking on targets while you are concerned with other things like surviving for example. So these builds are maybe not for the hunter gunslinger take down everything as fast as possible enjoyers. This also makes for great solo player builds with improved survivability while your damage over time effects are doing their work. Let's start with the first build, maybe the most common version you will find players using. Main idea here is to combine high burst explosions with high debuff damage adding a ton of survivability and being able to apply slow to your targets any time you want. And especially the last part can trivialize any open world content for you. Archetypes are Ritualist and Challenger. Skills are Eruption, which sits on a short cooldown and has two charges. For the Challenger skill I prefer Juggernaut as a defensive option, but you can really take any skill that you see fit. The Challenger adds a ton of survivability, increases your melee damage and works perfect with the shotgun we are using here. You can also swap the two classes in boss fights to access a free revive from the Die Hard perk, perfect for solo players. In this setup we want to apply all the debuffs with our long and handgun and then use eruption whenever available. That is why I use the new Sparkfire shotgun alongside with the twisted wound mutator and corrosive rounds as weapon mod. Three status effects baked into one weapon is pretty dope. And for your standard enemies you don't even have to worry about using the weapon mod, it will delete anything just fine. Range, spread and recoil will be addressed with rings and traits. Handgun is the enigma. Yeah, I know it is boring and pretty overpowered in this build, but hear me out. I only use it for two things, when I'm quickly swarmed by enemies and to apply slow whenever I want. Because what I really want here are the seven charges of the enigma's weapon mod Chaos Driver. Thanks to the weapon mutator Time Weave and the amplitude trait, you can apply slow to any elite and aberration with an 11 meter in the game. With this build you will always have some charges available and I cannot stress how much this is a game changer for open world content. Not only does the weapon mod itself hit hard, but the slow mechanic is incredible overpowered for anything but main bosses. For boss fights you can switch out the web mutator as those are immune to the slow effect. Use Harmonizer instead to further empower Chaos Driver and refill your long guns weapon mod in no time. Gas giant with any mutator you like as supplemental melee weapon. Amulet is of course the energized neck coil and we will pump the explosion damage of this already powerful baby to the max. You see, prolonging your status effects also increases their total damage and thus the explosion damage. The Ritualist trait in combination with the ring Timekeeper's Jewel takes care of that. Rings are as mentioned Timekeeper's Jewel, the newly added Shadow of Misery, a random world drop in Losom and 
Ring of Malevolence, which quickly refills your weapon mods during a fight. Alternatively, you could use the Catalogger's Jewel, especially when roaming the open world, because fights there are rather short and you will have downtimes in between. Final Ring is Targeting Jewel, which greatly benefits both guns and bumps their ideal range from 12 to 16 meters. The traits will further improve both weapons. I always use the passive healing setup with the Tranquil Heart Relic. Relic fragments are really up to you. I prefer 10% crit chance, 10% elemental and 10% mod damage here. Traits are your usual suspects with Vigor, Expertise and Spirit. Fortify, Regrowth and Triage for enhanced survivability and a very strong passive healing setup. Same goes for the 9 points in Fitness. The gained distance per dodge roll is something I don't want to miss anymore, especially in boss fights. I prefer to use the full challenger's armor set here. Amplitude and Handling are the two traits you need to boost this setup. Amplitude affects the time weave mutator and turns it from mm, to powerful, because the initial distance is only 7.5 meters. Amplitude also increases the explosion range from your amulet and the Enigma's chain lightning jump distance, so a lot of synergies at work here. Handling significantly reduces your shotgun's target reticle. Not completely able to turn it into a slug shotgun like the AS-10 Bulldog, but now reliable enough to hit anything within the enhanced 16 meter range. You could even buff it further with a relic fragment. This build is super fun and the combination of high burst explosions, high status effect damage, slow on demand and great survivability is awesome. Moving on to the next build, I call it the Plague Bringer. Instead of trying to apply all status effects with your guns, we will shift this duty to a skill and focus on stacking the corrosive debuff up to 4 times on our enemies that can last up to 45 seconds. My preferred build to wear down Venom while playing hide and seek with him in his arena. The build also counts as a high crit setup with up to 65% crit chance for the long gun and 50% improved critical damage. To achieve this I use the Alchemist as a subclass. Medic would be fine too, but I prefer the skill set of the Alchemist. The Ritualist skill we are using now is Miasma, which, depending on the ring setup, has a 6 second downtime between applying all status effects and their duration on target, or none at all. I still use Tranquil Heart and a passive healing setup, this time critical hit chance and critical damage, alongside 10% elemental damage, are the best fragments in my opinion. Long Gun is the AR-47. I like the mix of a somewhat punchy and precise gun that is also fully automatic with no overheat mechanic, but you could really use anything you like. Another goal was not to use a shotgun and make this in general a build with more damage capabilities over a longer distance. Weapon mod is of course Corrosive Rounds and Mutator the new Fetid Wounds. Both will further increase your crit chance. Handgun is the Nebula that just deletes enemies in the setup, although it is only useful up close. And on top, the weapon mod Nano Swarm is one of the best in the game. The Harmonizer mod is ideal here to further buff a Nano Swarm and using the Nebula refills your Long Guns weapon mod in no time. In general, you will regenerate a lot of mod power during fights, so that you should be able to use both mods nearly back on back. Gas Giant, now with the Mutator Tainted Blade, as melee weapon. Amulet is the Effluvium Enhancer that elevates our up to 4 corrosive debuffs and nebulous damage. Timekeeper's Jewel, Ring of Malevolence and Probability Cord are the main rings you need. Now to keep Miasma on a 30 second cooldown while the applied damage over time effects also tick for 30 seconds, you need one cooldown reduction ring. I use Burden of the Rebel because in this setup I never actively use my relic. But 
Probability Court and Shadow of Misery are two excellent damage rings in this build, so we are short of one ring slot. In boss fights I prefer the cooldown reduction to keep all status effects active all the time and swap out one of the other options. Just play around with those three rings and see what fits you best. All work great here. Traits are again the basic setup. Vigor, Expertise, Spirit, Regrowth, Triage, Fortify and Fitness for passive healing and improved survivability. And now we also need Flashcaster, because Miasma is extremely powerful, but also very slow to cast and that can you get killed pretty easily. Any points beyond that you can put wherever you like. I prefer a mixture of ammo reserves, bark skin and one point in strong back because I want this special look while keeping the medium dodge roll. Armor is a wild but cool mix of the ritualist's body armor, challenger's leg and hand armor and the engineer's helmet. I love this build as an alternative to the shotgun setups and the pure joy of spreading the green pestilence wherever I go. Nebula is also hilariously effective in tight environments like the hatchery for example. And finally I have something for all you pyromaniacs out there. Engineer as secondary class that you can swap into the first slot in boss fights to access overclock. The flamethrower turret is used as a devastating place and forget skill while you delete everything with your shotgun and the weapon mods. I included some one true king footage here where he has the elemental resistance ethics and still takes a lot of damage. Again, Miasma is used, this time on a very short 22 second cooldown to apply the other debuffs. Sparkfire shotgun with witchfire and fetid wounds. And believe me, witchfire is ridiculously strong, has two charges and comes back in no time. I chose the Tech 22 as my handgun with the harmonizer mutator. As weapon mod I either use hotshot for some reliable damage boost or the infamous firestorm, especially useful against certain bosses. But please, don't use it when playing with others. In co-op it is just a huge pain in the backside. I chose World's Edge here but use whatever you want. Melee combat is not very useful in this setup opposed to the other two builds. Tranquil Heart as usual. This time I recommend 10% elemental damage and 10% mod damage. The last slot is whatever you want. Talisman of the Sun as amulet. Ring of Malevolence for high mod power generation and targeting jewel to improve your shotgun's range from 12 to 16 meter. Then two ring slots for cooldown reduction, Burden of the Rebel and Burden of the Stargazer. With this Miasma becomes available every 22 seconds and your turret profits greatly from the overall 50% cooldown reduction. So while blocking two ring slots to reduce cooldowns, the benefits in this build are more than worth it. You can nearly spam your turret and miasma. Traits are again Vigor, Expertise, Spirit, Regrowth, Triage and Fitness as baseline. Handling to make the Sparkfire shotgun useful at the improved range and Flashcaster again to counter Miasma's long cast time. The turret placement also benefits greatly from this trait. The rest I put into ammo reserves and 3 points in strong back to wear the new Crimson Guard heavy armor set while keeping the medium dodge roll. This final build is awesome to play. I especially like the constant witch fire spam that burns enemy down really fast and the turret hits very hard too. Extremely powerful against rather static bosses but the turret in combination with the damage over time effects takes care of a lot of the work while well, you can concentrate on avoiding damage. And honestly it is just pure fun to burn everything down. So there you have it, three fun and deadly ritualist builds for your adventures in Remnant 2. Thank you a lot for watching and stay tuned for more Remnant 2 content. I already have some crazy builds with the new DLC items in the works. For now this is all, take good care of yourself and enjoy spreading death and decay.